And welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is part three of Let's Make a Mess. Let's see what else we can do with it. I love doing that. I like to start out making a mess first. I get it out of the way, and then I work with it after that. This is one of the things I like to do because it's just kind of a goofy, fun thing to do. I like to make a mess. Here are some, obviously, some pretty important shapes that are coming up pretty close for all of you, us, you know, and our holidays are coming up. I started making a mess and then started doing the negative shape painting. I did not paint that art. I made a mess and then I came in with negative shape painting. After a while, I really got excited about it. I started doing a whole series of nine of these over and over and over and over, whether they're hearts or coffee cups or simple little everyday things you see. I love the hearts to do them. We need more of these. This is what I'm working on right now. There's this whole series that I'm working on right now. I'm gonna show you something that's fun to do that you can send to your friends. Let's get started. Hey, look what I have here. Some Strathmore watercolor cards. What that means is I have cards and envelopes that match them. Real 100% pure watercolor cards. So I get to paint on them. Let's do that. Here we go, matching envelopes. I don't have to worry about anything. Here we go, look at this. Oh, they come flat. Eventually, you can fold them later on. So what I like to do, just to let you know, know where the center is. I'm gonna do one half, one half. And my one half is going to be well, it's right down the middle. And this is where I actually give myself a chance to do some really goofy stuff. Now that's an upside down heart. There you go. Doesn't always have to be exactly perfect. Show people how much fun it is to be a painter. All right. I'm gonna actually add some yellow in here. Whoa. Look at this, look at this. Well, who wouldn't want to get one of these in the mail? On, on Valentine's Day. It also has given you the opportunity to do, do some goofy stuff. It doesn't always have to be red. Look at this, I'm bringing back in some red on my brush. Look at that. Isn't it just crazy? Now you, the trick here is to know when to stop. And then you start another one. I'm going to start another one. You do one right after another. Look at this. Just show people how much fun it is to paint. It doesn't have to be exact. This is not the time. We're not looking for perfection here. Oh my. We're looking for someone to look at your work and go, well, this person had a great time doing this painting. That's what you're really showing. Show people how much fun it is. I'm using lots of water. This is my acrylic paint, by the way. This is my whole line acrylic paint. And I use lots of it. Look at this, lots of it. I paint all over at the same time. Don't stay in one place. Let's go to the third one. Here's the third one. I haven't even folded it in half, but there is a line of demarcation. You probably don't see it because it's so subtle. Look at that. You can either do the background first I like the warm colors. I want to do the next one to be hot colors. And you know, when you fold this in half, you write your message here. How wonderful, huh? Let's make some dark ones down here. I like to make sure I put some dark colors in here of the 
red, it makes the other red pop out even better. Look at this. This is a great time to be absolutely ridiculous. If you don't do it here, where else are you gonna do it? I'm gonna make sure there's some blue up in here. Look at this. They're gonna love to get paintings from you. They're gonna love to get paintings from you. An original painting from you. I want you to know this is a great way to get started. And especially when you don't have an idea. Let's start off with the Valentines and make these giant beautiful paintings. Eventually they get to be bigger and bigger and bigger. It's a great way to get started, especially when you're stuck. Can't wait to see all your beautiful paintings of Valentines. Spread it out, everybody. Have a great time. Can't wait to see you on my next Bob Blast.